All right, so now we're getting to the spreadsheet. We've already captured the information, which took us virtually no effort. So now we need to format our spreadsheet. So we're opening the one in phase two, the analysis one, and we're going to do some formatting. Now, the first thing I would say is insert a header row. So insert and put in a merge these rows and put in a nice big header for yourself just to make it clear what this whole page is about. Okay, you actually don't have to do formatting yet. Now, I'm going to show you a life hack in terms of formatting is to use the format as table. Now, the thing is, I don't like these colors. So let's first go change the theme. The theme you can find under page layout. So either change the theme, which will change the font as well. And if you remember what theme you used in phase one, that's first prize. So then you use the, th the same theme. So let's say I use this theme. And then my table style can be the same theme that I used over there. Okay, so I'm going to select my data, excluding this main header at the top. Okay, and I'm going to format it as a table. So I quite like that one. Please don't use these very dark styles. That's really just too dark for data like this. Um, actually, that is fine. My table has headers. That is correct. All right. Now, the thing is, as nice as this looks, I do, hold on, I really like the banded rows. As nice as this looks, working with a table is very impractical because when I do things, you first, you see these filter buttons and things. And when I do things like account or account A or whatever, you'll see what it does. Um, it refers to the table instead of to the cells. So it just provides unnecessary complications. So after you've actually used the table formatting, now just convert it back to a range. Convert to range. So now what it's basically done is it's applied the pretty formatting, but it's not a table anymore. So now you can do things such as wrapping the headings and making the columns smaller so that it's not unnecessarily large. One question I get quite often is that um, the learners wrap the text, but then they can't see all the content once they've narrowed the column. So then just double click the row, remember? And then you can actually see all the content and then please make use of nice alignment so that everything look, looks neat. And now you need to do some formatting on your main heading. So maybe have a look at cell styles. Maybe a title style will work, but then you just need to make the um, row a little bit wider. There you go. If you had a question where people could use more, could choose more than one option, and you end up with like lots and lots and lots of writing here. You don't have to keep the column that long. You can make it shorter. Um, it just try to make the columns long enough that you can see the content unless it is really exceptionally long content. The idea is to be able to open the spreadsheet and see all the content at once. This title color doesn't really work for me that much. So I'm rather going to use that color and maybe make it bold. So. Now you need to play a bit with the formatting and make sure everything looks good. Remember to apply currency format to the question that was a currency question.